Hello everyone, hope you're keeping safe. Welcome to To Be A Legend. Well, the last episode we had a good start, we had a win and a draw. I think it was a flash in the pan. But we are doing okay in the AFL Cup, the Caribou Cup, for want of another word. And we start today's episode with the draw for the third round. And welcome to episode 32 of To Be A Legend. My name's Mark and on today's episode we have games at home against Lincoln City in League One and away against Burton Albion. But as uh, mentioned in the intro, we do have the uh, EFL third round draw and it comes up right now. And you join us for the Caribou Cup third round draw, uh, having passed uh, West Brom. Then uh, here we are with that said draw. As you will uh, see on the screen, we are about to make the draw. Let's have a look. And so eventually the screen does drop in for us, which is quite handy. Uh, so the draw teams amongst, uh, obviously the big boys join us on the third round. Um, have Arsenal and West Ham, Chelsea, just to name a few there um, in amongst it. So uh, we are in good company as it is. So let's make the draw. First out is Reading. Reading will play Tottenham. Chelsea will play Middlesbrough. Fulham will play Portsmouth. Leicester will play Manchester United. Oldham are playing Crawley Town, Southampton are playing Cambridge United or West Ham. So West Ham have to get past South Ham, um, sorry, West Ham have to get past Cambridge first uh, to then meet Southampton. Blackpool are playing Burnley. Doncaster, also of League One, will play Brighton of the Championship. Everton will play Rochdale. Some good uh, ties coming out here. Manchester City will play Wigan. Watford. This could be us. It is because there was a little bit of a pause there. So we will be playing Watford in the third round of the Caribou Cup. There's not many to go, so we'll do the full draw. Wolves will play Huddersfield. Oxford United will play Bristol City. Crystal Palace will play Bournemouth. Liverpool will play Crewe, which means Arsenal will play Newcastle. And that's how it's come out in the draw. So uh, that is looking good, I think. Um, so uh, an away game against Watford from the Championship, having beaten West Brom in the third round so I don't think we're overly worried uh, by that uh, any chalk of the imagination as it uh, as it turns out so uh, no I hope uh, you enjoyed that uh, little draw it's uh, back to future mark and uh, how he's getting on in the league and so here we are on uh, the start of today's episode it is an episode where well, we are going to be uh, looking at uh, trying to pull ourselves out of this little bit of a spiral we've got ourselves into. So uh, last time we were with us, uh, first two games of the season, Rochdale and Wigan, both games at home. Um, and uh, the first game of the season, we won 4-1 and then uh, we had a 0-0 draw against Wigan. Okay, both home games, quite happy with that. Uh, we then went on to beat Fleetwood 2-1 in the first round of the EFL Cup, the Caribou Cup. Um, Emerson 
scoring after 23 minutes. Uh, Green equalising after 33, but O'Rourke winning it for us on 88 minutes. Um, so splendid that was, um, and it looked like a perfect start to our season. But then it all went a bit wonky. Uh, we lost 2-0 away to Sunderland. Goals from Diamond after 20 minutes. They missed a penalty, and that was a good save by uh, um, by Smith, actually. We will just have a quick look at that, because uh, he's made two or three saves so far this season. And um, here he is, look. About to make this save from Sunderland. Really didn't need to do a lot with that to make that save, but he uh, managed to stop it from going in. Um, so anyway, a 2-0 loss against Sunderland, um, and then uh, a 3-2 loss against Cambridge United. Uh, Zach Emerson on the score sheet again with Lewis Raleigh, um, but uh, really the damage was done early on in that game. Uh, Morris uh, after 51... Oh, sorry, it wasn't early on. We were 0-0 at half-time. Morris uh, after 51 minutes. Emerson equalising after 61, and then they turned us over. Mullin... Uh, scoring after 65 and uh, to be honest uh, they could have had more Mundell getting a very um, forgettable uh, own goal after 66 to give them that 3-2 uh, or 3-1 as it was then Mulling could have made it 4-1 um, as it was Riley got one back for us after 85 minutes but uh, that was about all that we could do um, then we went into the uh, West Brom uh, game in the second round of the EFL Cup and uh, a 2-0 win. Harrison Biggins, two great goals from him after 11 and 25 and uh, we basically went through the rest of the game. Uh, we managed to do that. Um, should have beaten Plymouth away, um, lost one goal to nil and then lost 2-0 in the uh, Papa John trophy, Papa John pizza thing, um, which you're not particularly worried about I guess. Uh, but uh, would have been nice to win against Manchester United under 23s at home. Um, that leaves us with today's episode against Lincoln and Burton. And as you will have seen, uh, we have a draw in the third round of the um, EFL Cup against Watford. How about that? Um, so we'll be playing Watford and I think we're probably going to do that on the next episode so uh, we'll have these two play the Bristol Rovers game offline and then we will come back for Watford and uh, I'm thinking possibly Watford and Millwall um, as uh, the next episode so uh, that will just see how we're doing in these early stages and then obviously we'll motor on down here a little bit um, to uh, to get a bit of um, perspective on what's what right anyway any more to do let's get on with our first game of the episode which is a home game against Lincoln City and here we are the team that we have selected for this game against Lincoln and uh, you will also see there are some new members uh, to the team we didn't do the final roundup of the uh, of the transfer window, uh, we have got a couple players. Uh, only one of them is in the squad for today. So Smith continues in goal. We've got our newbie, Wilson S. Brand. He is our new uh, left back. Um, more about Clements uh, in a short while. Um, needless to say, he is uh, there. He can play wing back as well, which is uh, where he's playing today. Um, we do have him on a defensive instruction, but he can play on a uh, on a support instruction. Not quite so good as defensive instruction, but uh, he he can play on that defensive instruction. And uh, he's uh, come in uh, in the transfer window, and uh, he's on loan. I think yeah, he's on loan from Birmingham for the season. So. Uh, there you go. Wakeley, Bennett and Coyle make up the rest of our defensive line. Mary and Mundell are our central midfielders with Morris and Stanley on the attacking midfield with Riley and O'Rourke up front. I think Riley is better preferred as a pressing forward. 
albeit he can play attacking forward. We'll leave him as advanced forward for now. Uh, and then on the bench, Fodicek, Alandello, Sage, Broughton, Biggins, Ashley Seal and Emerson are our bench. Emerson not having a particularly good start. He scored a couple of goals, but uh, that's about all. rook has got four goals. riley has got one. Stanley has got one as well. So it's been spread about a little bit, but uh, we still need to hit that vein of form um, as it is. Um, yes, Clements, he, um, he basically had a bit of a... A grump on um, because uh, we brought in Wilson S brand um, on loan and uh, he's basically put in a transfer request and he has already signed to go in the January window so we've put him out to grass for now um, probably well yeah he may feature if we uh, if we need him but uh, basically he's uh, he's already got a transfer out of here so uh, having brought him in in the summer He's on the way out. The one sure fast thing, though, is we have actually made some money because we brought him in for free and he's actually going out um, for a bit of money. I think uh, about 35000 So uh, uh, all in all, uh, we've made a little bit of a profit on him, albeit he's been with us a very, very short space of time. Right, let's get on and get this team out here. We'll have the team sheet in just a moment. There is the team sheet. Lee Downing is the manager at Lincoln City. Uh, also Dickinson Peters, who we were touting in the summer. Maybe we should would have been better with him. Who knows? Um, right. Um, outstretched arms. Enjoy the match today. Really? Um, Let's show this. Uh, let's show what the uh, thing is. Uh, Lewis Riley's unsure. Lewis Riley, I've got faith in you. Get out there and make a difference. Um, ben Morris, he's not responding at all at the moment, um, and he's starting to annoy me somewhat. Um, but then none, neither is any of the new boys, um, and I'm I'm seriously thinking about going back to the old, the old mob. Um, and get them in for a game or two and see what happens. Give everybody a little bit of a, a pump up. So, Lincoln above us in the table, but then who's not? As you'll see, they are 11th at the minute. And we are underway. Mundell to Mary. Mary to O'Rourke. O'Rourke to Raleigh, who's come back. Wakely, Wilson S. Brand, and he's given the ball away. That's not clever. And they're in. Dickinson Peters nearly made us pay for not signing him in the summer, but Wilson S. Brand uh, heads that out into touch. Looking for Mundell, didn't find him, of course. And uh, Dickinson Peters, Smith, managed to smother that one. Twenty minutes gone, and that's the only highlight we've had today. We have a throw in on the far side though. Coyle to O'Rourke, back to Coyle, and Coyle's managed to get into a bit of space and gives the ball away. Stanley has picked it up and finds Mundell. Mundell back to Stanley. Stanley wide now to Coyle. Coyle's got to look to cross this ball in. He's pushed it into the area. Stanley, Mundell, Mary hits the crossbar and. The defence managed to mop it up. Lovely ball into Stanley. Stanley looking for Mundell. Mundell tees it up for Mary. And in fact, I think the goalkeeper actually did push that up onto the crossbar. So uh, we were lucky there. Long ball forward. Stanley gets his head to it, but it's uh, defended well. And Coyle was beaten. And uh, this is basically the series of what we've been up to. Coyle with a good tackle there, and that's hit the woodwork as well, I think. We've gone out for a corner. And a heady goal from Dickinson Peters, who has made us pay for not signing him in the summer. And we go a goal down, and so our form continues. Probably need to do something sooner than later. Uh, 
Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Right, we'll try and fire the team up. Uh, we'll go to attack him because clearly I'm not doing anything as it stands. The ball's come back. That surely went out of play. And they've got a, I was going to say a second goal, but it's disallowed. Um, for offside. And living dangerously, I think, is the word here. And they have another highlight. Cut inside, and that's just curled wide. And we're not having the fun here, are we, at all? As half-time looms. Again, you see, we'll look at uh, the stats on the other games. But we're having shots, and we're having shots on target. We're just not putting the chances away we seem to have some uh, strikers who are uh, in effect firing blanks come back into that game somewhat well, I think we were, uh, we were after I fired them up but uh, still not be able to put this game away And uh, just trying to motivate these players that are not finding it motivated. And we're having a, a mediocre effect here to do this. And we'll start the second half. And really desperately need to get back into this game. If we're to stand any chance at all. Walton comes out of his area and they have moving the ball around nicely. And uh, we've not seen anything from us yet. Nothing at all. That's blocked. And it comes, cross comes in. Wakely gets his head to it, but nobody there. It's And space is given. Smith stands tall there. I think he was offside, actually. And uh, they have another throw in. And again, we're just not getting out. Tackle comes in, but the ball's not breaking for us. But the that's just gone wide. Morris with the ball out, but he's given it away. What are we doing? Coyle with a header forward. O'Rourke picks it up. Come on, O'Rourke. You can do this. Pass it into the area. Into the area. And he's blocked. Not even a chance, really. You know, should be creating the chances here. Bennett heads it down for Mary. Mary to Coyle. Coyle forward, but aimless aimless and we've given the ball away Dickinson beat us again Bennett tackles nicely Coyle forward ball but again it's not making our man the passes are useless well tackled but he's got in for a second time he's hit the post and uh, really should have made that the second and probably the killer goal 54 minutes gone or 55 minutes gone and we're not in this in any manner, shape or form as yet. Not showing any inventiveness or anything. We are poor and going down if this carries on. Bennett now picked up a yellow card. As we get to 60 minutes, we might be making some early changes. Um, right, we're going to tell Bennett to calm down. A lot of nervous players, which we just haven't had, have we? Well, I suppose there was a point in time we were going to hit the wall and uh, having got back-to-back -back promotions from the Vanarama North through the Vanarama uh, National League and then League 2 
Um, we've hit that wall big and proper now. And uh, even bringing in the players that we've brought in in the summer. They're just not doing the business for us. And as you'll see, 6.3 for Raleigh even in front here. O'Rourke 6.6, .6, but they're just not firing at all. Um, right. Still had the better XG, but we've not put it away. So Raleigh, he's coming off. We're going to bring Emerson on just to see if we can do something up front. But uh, maybe drop swap Stanley and Morris around. Let's bring put Morris up front. Maybe we just want two out and out strikers up front going forward. Um, Pump fists, go out there and make a difference. Confirm sub. And let's get on with it. Can I drop a bit of encouragement while we're at it? No, not at the moment. Ball's one. Stanley back into the box and he's given the ball away. Ball one by O'Rourke. At least somebody's doing something right, but he's given the ball away. Cut out by Bennett, but again, not getting through to anybody. Mendel, this time to Emerson. Emerson, come on, prove me wrong now. Straight at the goalkeeper. Um, really should have put in that one side of the goalkeeper or other and putting that away. We're down to 21st into the relegation zone now. Morris with the cross in not headed in O'Rourke has it on the edge of the area and he's waiting to be tackled and gets tackled lovely four ball to Mundell Mundell getting that ball to Emerson that's where Emerson should have put it down the right hand side of the goalkeeper in the back of the net um, would have been terrific uh, long ball wide here to Coyle Coyle fires it upfield and Morris is going to get sent off here, I think. Yep, straight red for Morris. And that's not what we wanted. Which means we're going to have to... Oh, luckily he was up front, so we can move Emerson into that uh, lone attacker. And I think Mary's done. We're going to bring Biggins on for Mary. That's our second change. Pump fists. And... Let's uh, get the game back underway. I'm now at a big disadvantage. Not only are we not playing well, we're at a disadvantage manpower-wise. But Stanley has got the ball, and he's got a couple of players inside him. Cuts it across to Emerson. Emerson looking for Mundell. Mundell puts it. It's a bar. Well, luck's just not flowing in our direction, is it? Mundell should have put that away, and um, it's not got there. Ball forward. And it's gone out for a corner, uh, for, for a goal kick rather, on the rebound. And Stanley is now tired, and we haven't got anybody. Oh, can we bring. No. Benny Ashley Seal can only play on that right side. think can play on the left we can we might move or walk out to the left then in that case switch Stanley around and what we'll do is we will bring on Benny Ashley seal for Connor Stanley and that is our last change and 
no confidence. I mean, XG wise, we've not been out of this game. We should have won this game cleanly. Um, we've had worst XGs and won. Um, long ball forward, nobody there. And well, ball one. And here's number two. If hit the post again. Goodness me. Right. I just need to check something out. Um, I'm just wondering. Oh no, overlaps. He's doing work it into the box. Just for a minute, thought something had changed in the tactics, which was causing us problems, but uh, cancel. And they have a corner by the looks of it. 84 minutes gone. And Smith plucks that out of the air. Wilson, there's Brand blocking that one, the first one, but Dickinson Peters should have had this. And uh, the woodwork stops him. Throw in from Wilson S. Brand, but he's given the ball away. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. And a long shot, which was poor on their behalf, really should have had that. And uh, Wilson S. Brand to O'Rourke. O'Rourke forward and lob too far forward. Bennett gives the ball away again. Bennett headed forward, gives the ball away again. And senior in here, number two. And it was a long time coming, to be fair. And uh, we're going to go down and carry on our losing run. Maybe should have taken the job at Ross County in the summer. Maybe this was a step too far. Lots of tired out there. And we've given the ball away again. Could be number three coming in here. And whoever that was had just stopped and let him go by him. Bennett. Bennett's missed that ball and it's uh, been cleared by Biggins. O'Rourke heads it forwards, but uh, nobody there. Poor, poor, poor. It's going out wide and they're still on the attack. And we're tired, so there is inherent danger here. And it's gone out for a corner. And no time for the corner. It is game over and it is a 2-0 win. We don't need to see this again, I don't think, because that wasn't really coming to anything. And, uh, well, just managed to outrun them. Ben Morris disappointed you got sent off. Um, I think Ben Morris, he's had a grump on and he's played abysmally since then. I, I'm, I'm tempted, very tempted. I'm going to drop him anyway. I mean, he's going to get suspended now. Um, I'm going to drop him and I think the other thing we'll do is we'll put him on the transfer list because um, uh, one thing we also need to do is have a clear out of scouts because clearly the scouts are telling me to bring people in. And um, they're just not doing it, are they? A very poor performance all the way around. Even Lewis Raleigh came into the side and did sweet. Oh, we managed to finish 20th just ahead of Plymouth there. Um, but games we should be winning. And uh, five matches now without a win, and uh, yeah, 
that's not good that is not good at all so without any more to do we've got seven days to go down to the next match we'll uh, we'll come back uh, for the game against Burton Albion And this is the team that we are putting out against uh, Burton Albion. Uh, the, uh, ben Morris, who was sent off in the last game, has picked had a two-match ban added to his one-match ban. He's off for three games, so uh, he won't appear. Um, but the good news is Ogenby has returned after a long-term injury. Um, and uh, the good news is he is back. This is his first game back today. So the team that we're putting out is Smith in goal, Wilson, S. Brand, Sage and Bennett in the central defence. They're building up a little bit of a partnership. Uh, Barker on the right-hand side of defence. Then we've got Mary and Mundell in the middle. Wolf is, um, is injured. Ogenby on the left. Stanley on the right. O'Rourke and Emerson up front with Fodacek, Landolo, Broughton, Coyle, Wakeley, Riley and Cardwell. Not quite sure why we've got two central defenders on the bench. Um, Sterling James, who's been away... Um, on international duty he is tired and Harrison Biggins as well I'm tempted right put Biggins in there um, I'm also tempted to bring Sterling James on do we bring him on for Cardwell or yeah Harry Cardwell and we'll swap those two around Riley being our out and out striker if we need him um, Sterling James has had good international duty, scored a couple of goals. Um, <clears throat> so that's the team that we are going with. We will submit that team. Having said that, just wondering, did I actually... Don't remember doing this screen. And it's always worth doing this screen. Well, maybe it's not. Maybe that's where we're going wrong. Um, let's go through then to the match. Team sheets first. Sam Ricketts is the uh, Burton Albion manager. <coughs> Pumpfist, nobody expects us to get a result. I expect nothing uh, but a win from this match to cut our recent run of bad results. I'm going to go with that. And that seems to have pumped them up a little bit. Right, Fidel O'Rourke, Pumpfist, go out there and do it. Emerson, Pumpfist, Faith in Eco out there, there's no re reaction from Emerson. Mary and Mundell. And I'm not uh, reacting, which is a bit of a concern. And neither is Devante Barker. It's all the newbies that haven't really tuned in yet, I don't think. We desperately need to do something today. And the first highlight, not quite five minutes gone, and uh, as you will see they have the highlight which is a bit of a worry and score a goal Second, we are now. <clears throat> and desperate. Hemmings is going to get on the end of this and makes it 2 0.
and uh, yeah I'm not I'm not quite sure what to do um, I think we might need a change in uh, formation possibly this formation not working I don't know maybe we need to go one up top and uh, have a defensive midfielder there we got one back O'Rourke Fido O'Rourke from uh, Connor Stanley uh, 12 minutes gone still a long way to go in this game good game to win I guess having gone two goals down Connor Stanley good run and Fidel or lovely crossing floated in and Fidel or Rock managing to get on the end of it and I suppose that's a bit of a change to what we have been doing just in recent times half an hour gone coming up for half time and no further progression there did improve towards the end of that and right Fido or Rock Connor Stanley happy with your performance right Zach Emerson and Ogenby probably shouldn't seem to expect too much from Ogenby Garen he's just come back from injury um, Josh Pumpfess Josh Wilson S brand and that's what we're going to do for the moment and We'll start the second half. They have the first highlight again. And they're in again. Oh, Smith equal to it this time. Is that his brand? Can't tell because Hargraves is there. Yeah, it was Wilson S brand. come inside this player here which is Sage and uh, luckily didn't hit it with any great venom they have a corner now oh thought that had gone through them for a minute and they still have the attack and it's through Smith gets down to that but an offside before that happened but uh, well do well saved by uh, Smith not knowing he is offside but Smith got down to save it and still the highlights come for them and we've given a penalty away now ah man And Smith couldn't save that one. 3 1. Time for changes. And I really don't know. So, Ogenby not having a good time on that, uh, that side. So, we're going to bring Sterling James on for him. Emerson once again having a shit game so we'll get a shot of him I'm really tempted to I can't return him but um, we need to be looking for somebody who can score goals as much as anything else we'll make those two changes for the moment pump fists make a difference Smith uh, guessed right but wasn't to be and still
and uh, yeah Barker with the ball to Mundell back to Barker who's going to give it away Bennett no to Mary Mary back to Bennett Bennett long ball forward looking for Sterling finds him and Sterling puts it away maybe that's the answer so he's been away scored a couple of times on international duty he has actually scored again now and uh, maybe we should have had him on earlier Bennett lovely ball through to Sterling found him and he's uh, he's created a bit of space and uh, put it away brings us back to 4-2 still a way to go and again we've not really put our chances away have we they've um, been a lot more clinical and uh, we're looking to make that final change now Mundell or Mary tempted to take Mary off um, for coil Again, we've run out of steam and uh, another loss, a 4-2 loss this time. And it's a losing episode, guys. Um, simply not good enough in the end. Connor Stanley had a good game. Uh, Reese Bennett had a good game. Both of those were going to happy with your days uh, Tom Smith I think I need to delighted with your performance but uh, as far as everything else goes or oh, Omar yes I mustn't forget this uh, this man out here happy with the performance well done and uh, that's where we end the episode a losing episode and we are down in the relegation zone 22nd at the moment and uh, we need to, to turn this around very very quickly if we are going to uh, to progress uh, or even survive in this uh, in this division as you see we started off well and we've just traveled to the bottom five straight losses now which is not good news in the slightest right can play Bristol Rovers off camera we will come back for the EFL Cup third round against Watford um, and I think we're going to play Millwall in that episode. Two away games there. Not holding out much hope, folks, as it currently stands. Um, and then we will come back a little bit later on then. Um, probably somewhere around at Doncaster Hull. Um, around about there for uh, the episode after. Right. Hope you've enjoyed today's episode. If you have, don't forget to leave me that big thumbs up, subscribe and hit the notification button to keep up to date with all future episodes of this and new series as they are released. New episodes of To Be A Legend currently released every Monday and Thursday at 4.15pm. Why not follow me on Twitter just off side two to keep up to date with all that's going on on this channel and more. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next episode, which will be episode 33. Until then, goodbye.